Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to do a quick video on fadeouts in Logic. So I'm going to cover both a full track fadeout, like at the end of a song, and also fadeouts on individual audio files. Here we go. Here's the ending of my song. So it ends really abruptly, and say I want to do a slow fade out instead. It's very easy to do this. If you go up here to track and show output track, you can also get that with shift command M. Then you get this stereo out that showed up down here. If you press the A button to go into the automation window and scroll down, we're going to make an automation on the stereo out to turn our volume down. So if you go right here where it says display and click volume instead, and we're going to zoom in. I think I'm going to do a four measure fade out. So I'm going to click right here on my playhead to create an automation point. And then I'm going to click at the end of the song where I want my fade out to be done. And once you have two points, you can grab anywhere after this second point here and pull it all the way down. So now as you go over the four measures, it's going to turn down your stereo out. And you can see that reflecting over here. So I'll play from here and you can hear it working. So there you go. There's a whole track fade out. Next, I want to touch on some fade outs on audio files. I'm going to zoom in right here. I have some funky guitar going on. So the fade out menu for audio files, you need to have a file selected. And then if this window is not open, you can hit the I button to toggle that. Go over here to region. And then you have a fade in and a fade out. And this right here, you can click and type in a number, but this is milliseconds. So if you want one second, you need a thousand. So now we've added a one second fade out to this audio file. So I could play it and show you. Great, same thing works with fade ins. So here this track has a long bit of silence. I'm gonna cut that with command T and delete it. And then right here, I'd say that looks like about a one second fade out as well. I'll type 1000 and now we got a fade in. So one other tip, I turned on this mode called fade tool click zones. It looks like this where you can just grab and make a fade. It's also a way you can make cross fades. So if these two are touching, you can grab right here and make a cross fade. Super fast, super efficient. I'll show that to you real quick too. To turn on this setting, go to Logic Pro Preferences, General, and then go over to this Editing tab here. Pointer Tool in Tracks provides Fade Tool Click Zones. So that's what you want to engage, and it'll let you go right here quickly and do the fades. If you move this back just a little bit, the icon will change to this, and that's your, that's your slope on the fade out. So there you go. That was a few quick tips on how to do fade ins and fade outs in Logic Pro. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.